My research focuses on the rehabilitation of breathing in people at risk for mechanical ventilator dependence. When breathing works, we don't even notice it. But when something goes wrong with breathing, nothing else matters. The diaphragm is the primary breathing muscle. It contracts every few seconds throughout our lifetime. With mechanical ventilation, the diaphragm rapidly loses function. These changes then make it very difficult to come off the ventilator. In my lab, we specialize in comprehensive tests of breathing. I collaborated with Florida's Powell Gene Therapy Center to refine and conduct specialized respiratory tests for the first human study of gene therapy to the diaphragm. We found that chronically ventilator-dependent children took deeper breaths and breathed on their own for longer, one year after receiving gene therapy. We also realized that rehabilitation appeared to influence how much breathing improved. An especially important area of my research focuses on breathing rehabilitation. This work includes a clinical trial of electrical stimulation to jumpstart the action of the diaphragm and help support independent breathing in ventilator-dependent people with neuromuscular conditions. In conjunction with UF Health, we are currently evaluating the ability of preoperative respiratory strengthening exercise to improve readiness for surgery. Our work suggests these exercises are safe and can rapidly increase respiratory strength both in frail older adults and in young children with life-threatening heart conditions. While early in our work, we think this could transform how patients prepare for surgery. In newer work, we are using an innovative approach to improve breathing by alternating periods of breathing lower oxygen and normal air. In the first study of its kind for people with ALS, we found that single treatments led to deeper breathing. We are now working to identify protocols associated with even greater breathing improvements. My lab is committed to refine and further develop breathing rehabilitation strategies. I predict we will continue to make significant progress in our ability to preserve and restore breathing in people at risk for ventilator dependence.